Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Long time no see. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Uh, quick little video to let everybody know I am still alive, perfectly fine, still in my house. I just uh, really haven't had much to say. I've been kind of enjoying life and just going my own ways. But uh, something I wanted to talk about today that I found very interesting, and as you can see by the title of this video, it basically shows how easily people are just led by basically being told what to do. Now, you may or may not know, and this is one of those things I wish I didn't know, but hey, you know, I was I found out from other people when I was at my spot today that today is National Donut Month, or National Donut Day, that's what it is. And how many people are right now or throughout the day going to all these specialty donut shops just because they heard someone say, today is National Donut Day. Now, it's not a end of the world scenario. It's, it's not anything that's majorly serious. It's kind of done in jest in a way. But if you think about it, it just shows how easy it is to get people to do things based on what the majority will do. So you'll see all of these donut shops, they probably tripled, quadrupled, God knows how much more business they made today because somebody felt the need to get something based on the fact that somebody took the time to say today was National Donut Day. The thing in life that I've learned, especially with all the ups and downs on this channel and in life, is that so many people are so worried about what other people think that they will alter their own ways of thinking, their perspectives, their physical appearances, their enjoyments, their dislikes, based on what everybody else says. And the more I understand that life is what you make of it, and how much excitement you can have by creating your own world and not worrying about or being influenced by others, you'd be amazed at how much better your life gets. Now, that doesn't mean things all of a sudden are just, you know, everything's wonderful. I've been going through a lot in the past, this year. It's been a challenging year. But as they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I wouldn't change any of it good, bad, and indifferent. But the one thing I am very proud of is I don't do things, especially nowadays, based on what mainstream or what other people say I should do. And you'll get flack for that. I've gotten hate. You'll see it on this video, just like you'll see it on every video that I've ever made. There are people, because it's popular, because other people will approve what they do, to send hate. I, to, I wish people like that that would use that energy for negativity if they turned it into something positive with what they're dedicating. I mean, I if you see my last video, I haven't made a video in a month, and there were about 11 or 12 people just waiting to thumb it down, which I find funny. If they use that kind of dedication towards something positive, who knows what kind of good things they could change in the world. So today is National Donut Day. I wasn't one of the people online to get a donut just because somebody called it a donut day. But how many people out there had their spouses come home or a friend come home or a family member come home with a bunch of donuts and saying the following, well, today was National Donut Day, so I thought I would get what everybody else was getting. In other words, the need to fit in. I, I know probably a lot of my subscribers didn't because they don't base things on what other people say. But just imagine how many people, if you drove past a donut shop today, how many more cars were there, just based on the fact that somebody told them, not directly, but indirectly, and it made them want to go get something that they probably wouldn't have gotten if no one said today was National Donut Day. So my thing is, don't be a follower. You're always going to have people that are not going to like you no matter what you do. You're going to have people that will love you despite what you do. All you can do is the right thing and do it because you wanted it, not because others wanted it. And even if 99% of the people out there will never understand, never appreciate, or never even like what you do, it shouldn't affect 
how you do things if you love it. And that's why you do it. So my channel from day one has always been controversial. And that will never change because I'm an individual who thinks in my own ways and can gather information and bring, and bring my own part to it. But I don't do it because other people said I should join in the bandwagon. And it's been a learning lesson. That's the beautiful thing is if you could take any kind of negativity and turn it into a learning lesson, well, then it happened for a reason. So then it can't be a bad thing. But the one thing I will never be and one thing that my channel has never been is a channel that just follows what everybody else does to fit in. And you're going to get people that hate you or don't like you or don't understand it. And somebody made a quote. I saw a quote on Facebook one day and this really hit home for me and I really appreciated this. And it said something to the extent of, in my history of childhood of playing video games, the one thing I've learned, which is the same as in life, is if you are going towards monsters and you're always defeating enemies, then you're going in the right direction. And that really hit home, because if you think about it, when you play a video game, you're always constantly coming to challenges. And then you get to the big boss and the idea is you're supposed to de defeat them so you can win the day. Well, if you go in the opposite direction, there's nothing to play. And you're just basically playing a game of walking around. So the fact that you keep reaching and hitting enemies means you're going in the right direction because there are evil people trying to stop you. That made me really appreciate the direction I've been going. So this video is going to be under 10 minutes. I uh, hope my regular subscribers who have been here through thick and thin, and I appreciate the fact that even though I haven't made that many videos, um, that you're still here. I mean, 15,000 subscribers is amazing, but only three or 400 are going to watch, and that's perfectly fine. I've always said helping one person is better than no people. And um, we'll see where it goes, but I'm still here. I'm still alive. Everything's perfectly well. As you can see, I'm not blind or anything like that, but uh, it's going my own path. So when I feel up to it, I'll make more videos. Um, that's why I will never delete the ones that I already have. So even if people have never seen any of these newer videos, they'll always have those to see. And um, one video is about to hit over 200,000 soon. Another one's getting close to 100,000. Another one's at 150. It's amazing. My Oregon pyramids, uh, still selling them strong. I mean, there's, there's a couple that I've made recently that will be turning into necklaces soon. And I get email after email of people telling me how amazing it is and reorders and loving it. And there will be people who don't understand it or don't like it because it's different. Well, we see a lot of similarities in the world, like National Donut Day. Everybody's that wants to fit in is going to get a donut today because somebody else mentioned that it's a day for donuts. I'd rather be my own individual than do everything based on what everybody else says or just to fit in. Because then how strong could you really be if you can't be your, your own individual and you need other people to justify what you do? Either that or you just have a lot of free time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time, whenever that is. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the kind emails. Uh, Corey C., I did get your message. I'm sorry I never returned it. I actually totally forgot about it, so that's my apology, but I appreciate you calling the check up on me, man. That was pretty cool. Uh, news Unit, I saw a couple of messages from you, but I was at the time I just couldn't answer them, so I lost track of time with it. So, again, thank you for calling and um, showing your concern. And everybody else with the emails, messages, and everything, I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.